Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find Church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Ah, Connor. What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered. Focused. It is good you have come. Ah, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. <laughs> I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. Last words? Wait. A poor choice. Come to check up on Church? Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. 
that can aim to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. And what do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. There were rations inside the crates. Medical supplies and clothing as well. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my luck. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a camp just north of here. It's where we'd normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's men. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? Never you mind. Just do as I ask.
go and see the form. There's another run planned for tonight. I'll go bring the wagon and meet up with you later. Try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. Thanking me when you hear what he's got planned. Oi, about time you showed up. Listen here. The boss wants us to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. business to be sure or not sure. I just do as well as you are. You're so good. I can get up with him. Is he? Ah, <laughs> of course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard. Trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right. I'm in. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Nah, uh, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya?
Not yet. Have a minute, my friend. Is it coming, Big Dave? You make any progress on the knife? I would like to give it to Miriam soon. The steel Norris smelted is something else. I've rarely seen such fine metal. The trouble is my old tools aren't hard enough to work it. The ones I need aren't hard to find. A shop or two in New York sell them at a good price. I'd do it myself, but with the regulars after my head, I'll stay here safe and sound if I can. I have matters to attend to in New York. I will see to it the next time I journey there. Sounds good. Connor, I left some bolts of fine silk in my old home. They are very valuable, but I don't think it wise I return there. Someone might wind up dead. I was hoping you could retrieve them for me if you had time.
Excuse me. Might I impose upon the kindness in your heart to give bed and board to a weary traveler? Oh, traveler from where? Across an ocean. London. English! <laughs> Rest assured, I'm not the king's man. A great kindness. Bless you. We work hard for what we have here, old man. What is it you do exactly? I wish to provide God for those who seek his salvation, not spoon-feed his word to those who already have their own. An outlook not shared by the monarchy. Lord knows some of us have things to confess. Ollie and I have been missing our Sunday Mass. I'd like Maria to read the Bible. I'm sure if we all pitched in, we could build a church. If you'd be our pastor. Connor? Welcome, Minister... Father. Father Timothy. Bless you. This will build a fine place of worship. I am most grateful. Good evening, Prudence, are you all right? What are you Connor. doing out here in the woods? Thank goodness! The baby's coming! We need to get you to Dr. White. No! I can't move! Take my horse! Bring him here! Go! Dr. White, come with me now. What's wrong? Prudence is in labor in the forest. In the forest? What in the bloody hell is she doing out there? Does not matter. We need to get water. Now? Yes! Are you here? Over here. What's the trouble? Where is she? Tell me how she seemed to you. In great pain. She could not move herself. Was she pale? Was there blood? Not that I saw. Might be we have some time. We must hurry. Doctor, I think I can manage at the moment. Is she all right, Doctor? No, she's not all right. She's having a baby, and here, by the looks of it. Yes. Looks to be in fine health as well. 
has a good set of lungs on him. <laughs> now, I don't mean to rush you, but we need to get both you and... Does he have a name yet? Hunter. I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. When my cars went up in flames, I lost most of my tools. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them? What would you have me do? Watch my back while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. <laughs> 